What is up guys, it is Nick. We are back and I want to apologize for not having a video last week for the update. Um, as you can see, I've kind of moved my room around so it's a little bit different. Um, I set it up to work better for quad streaming sports. Um, one for live TV, two monitors for my um, PC and then one for console. Uh, so I set it up to be a little bit more better formatted for that. Um, and so that took up a lot of last week. I also was just dead dog tired from the PSO2 beta. Um, and so, yeah, I just really recouped last week. Um, I have a bunch of stuff that we need to get to working on for Black Desert. We have Konoichi. We have the, um, Sork that I now have 2 billion gold on. I've been working hard on that character. We're up to 2 billion gold. We're about to hit level 60. Um... Yeah, that character is about to actually be kind of semi-usable for later game content, which should be fun, should be great. Uh, also, got to work on Tamer and Volk. We got to finish those up, and then we got to move on to, like, Lawn and stuff like that. As well as, I pulled this up just so that I could make sure I know what day. March 12th is the official release for Bless Unleashed. I'm hoping that I can potentially become a content creator partner with them. I did not, I was on their short list, like, they follow me on Twitter, they only follow 47 people on Twitter, 47, and some of them are, like, devs and stuff like that, they only follow 47 people, I'm one of them, but they didn't choose me for content, preferred content creators to start with, um, they only picked eight people, so hopefully they don't do me like Black Desert did me, and not make me a preferred content creator, but who knows, I DM'd them on Twitter since they followed me and just said, hey, I make console MMORPG videos. Hopefully you can, you know, you got something for me. So hopefully they get back in touch with me. I don't know. But there's that. That comes out on the 12th of March. There is the Founders, which I already bought. You get the game 15 days early. So what is that? If it comes out on the 12th of March, it comes out on a Thursday. That's kind of an odd day. Uh, but that would be like the 27th of January or February. I wish I said January. The 27th of February, I think, if it's 15 days. So 12, 13, 14. Yeah, it'd be the 20, Thursday. That's such a weird day. But yeah, it comes out on the 27th. So we'll have content for that. I don't know. that I, I, I hate saying this, but I like pso2 and black desert more so bless would probably just be a one to two i'll hit it heavy when it comes out so when it comes out thursday friday saturday sunday i'll definitely have four videos for it but overall for the overarching consistent continuity of the channel i probably will only have one to two videos of it a week i just enjoy black desert more i enjoy pso2 more that's coming out relatively soon um and so we will have an open beta for PSO2 and then full release, so we're at least, like, two or three months from PSO2, at least. Um, unless they start announcing stuff quickly here. But that's the whole point of that. Let's get into what this video is about. Um, sorry for wasting four minutes of your time if you didn't want to hear any of that, but I thought this is the video that gets the most views, so I thought I'd go over it. Let's get into the uh, patch notes and updates for this week. Um... Didn't have too much stuff. We had the schedule maintenance, uh, and we got some new events. We're just going to cover the Discover Moonlight Shards on the Xbox link here. They're the exact same. We'll go over new login rewards for Xbox. We'll go over the Pro Shop updates for both Xbox and PS4, and then operational policy amendments. We'll go over that first. So this is just they're going to update their policies. I believe if you have any inquiries related, you can just contact support. Uh, by clicking this link here. If you continue to play the game, they're taking that as your consent to the changes. If you don't accept the changes, you can quit playing the game. So, pretty simple. Moving on, we have our event, Discover Moonlight Shards. So this will run from February 19th to March 4th before maintenance. So play for a couple hours a day to obtain Moonlight Shards. You can obtain two port per day uh, for playing two hours. So what you'll want to do is to go into Simple Alchemy, and you will be able to trade in 
um, memory fragments and a moonlight shard. What this will do is it'll take away one moonlight shard and one memory fragment, and then it will give you somewhere between one and three memory fragments. So you can never lose memory fragments, you can lose shards, but you can never lose memory fragments, you can gain memory fragments. So if you cash one in, the most you can get back is three, which means that would be a plus two gain. You would gain two. Uh, it's not you're going to get three more, you're going to gain two. So pretty simple, pretty easy to, uh, quest to understand. Not too much goes into it except for that. Or not quest, but event. So new login event added. This is for Xbox. This will run the 19th to the 4th, like the Moonlight Shard event. Uh, all all um, adventures are eligible. This one's not great, but I'm hoping on March 4th we're going to get some cool new update and it'll give us better rewards uh, so the rewards go as followed uh, days 1 through 14 blackstone weapon times 10 armor times 10 spell bound toolbox uh, memory fragments times 5 crone stone times 5 uh, book of training combat times 3 shaka seal times 5 hard black crystal times 2 sharp black crystal times 2 um, and enhancement help kit uh, number two, and then four Valk's Cries in a row. Uh, I would try to get to at least day 10. Valk's Cries are nice, but they're not overly big. Um, they're not overly super important, but this uh, Enhancement Help Kit 2 is the big thing that I would try to get. So moving on to the final thing we're going to talk about in today's video is the Pearl Shop update. So this is the Xbox One, and then we'll come over here to the PlayStation 1, every, they got all the, both consoles got everything that I'll go over, and then at the bottom there's the new stuff that, that's the different stuff between Xbox and PlayStation. So, we have a 10 Pro Memories, we've got Nafart, uh, or Nafart, uh, Campsite and Maid, and then we got the Maid 2 Plus 1, those are the featured items of the week. Uh, and so we have this, Fragments of Artisan Moonlight. This E will give you one Moonlight Shard and one Fragment for 10 Pearls. Uh, probably worth picking up every day, maybe. Uh, if you care, you can cash it in, try to get three Memory Shard or Memory Fragments for 10. So that's like, I don't know, like 3 million for 10 Pearls. It's not bad at all. Uh, Little Monster Box is on sale uh, for 1,000 Pearls. A box containing one of six adorable pet monsters, Red Orc, Golem, Tree Spirit, Chimera, Centaurs, or Camasylvia Brown Bear. Tiers 1 through 4, you have an 85% probability of Tier 1, 2 or 9% at a Tier 2, 5% at a Tier 3, and 1% at a Tier 4. Only pets of the same type can be exchanged, and some pets uh, might not be eligible for exchange. Bonus. Campacho's Chewable Tablets times 10. So this falls under the limited category for uh, tiering pets up. So event value uh, pack seven days. You guys know the benefits of that. It's on sale for one loyalty. So I would pick that up. I'm going to try to remember to do that. Event blessing of Camisil also on sale for one loyalty. So I need to remember to pick that up. We all know the benefits of that. And then Secret Book of Old Moon, also on sale for one loyalty. They're essentially just giving away seven days of value pack, Blessing of Camasil, and Secret Book of Old Moon, which is very nice. Next, we have Made 2 plus 1 pack. So I'm not entirely sure how this works. I'm going to guess you get either Type A or Type B, which will give you one transaction made and two storage maids, or two transaction maids and one storage maid. This will be for 2,400 pearls, 33% off. Uh, campsite and maid. So this is on sale for 19% off. It's 4,900 instead of 6,100. This will give you Nafart, uh, campsite, and a fairy Irene transaction made. Uh, event lucky fortune pack. This will give you a blessing of camisole 15 days and item drop scrolls 60 minutes times 15 for 1,250 pearls. Enhanced Old Moon Pack, so this is essentially the same thing, just gives you a secret book of Old Moon. Uh, event Yoho Ho Pirate Pack, um, this is available for all of these classes, um, which is Warrior, Ranger, Sork, Berserker, Tamer, Striker, Musa, Mystic, Valkyrie, Konoichi, Ninja, Dark Knight, Wizard, and Witch, so... 
I don't actually see any class that's mi shy is missing. Is that it? I think shy is the only thing that's missing. Um, yeah. I think. I think Shy is the only one that missed you. I'm wondering if you get Lars RC and A or Lars RC and B for Sork. I don't know if all of them have an A and B, but I don't know which one you get of that. Uh, Scarlet, Macaw, uh, Pet, Bird Pet, and then a Pirate Eye Patch. 3120, 20% off. Here's the new stuff for the Xbox. We got the Welsh Corgi, um, which is a pet. It's a classic pet. It's a dog, obviously, and... Um, item pick up frequency you can grow, that's the normal stuff, and then talent is skill XP boost. Next we have the Krenvats, uh, horse gear set, 2000 pros for the entire set. Clarence's travel bag, so a bag used for organizing items that are useful travel, plus 16 slots. It can carry items that can be stored in a regular inventory. Items stored in the bag cannot be rearranged or used directly, it can be put in a storage. Items that expire cannot be stored. Trade items cannot be stored. You cannot use it if the weight limit of the inventory exceeds a thousand percent. Yeah, hundred percent. Once you ever activate this item, you cannot get a refund. It will be sent to your inventory. Twenty six hundred pearls. It's not terrible. Um, I might use it. I might get one. I don't know for sure, but I might get it. Uh, we have limited class outfits, so we have the. Uh, Lumic Classic Set for the Sork, Weenie Looney Classic Set for the Witch, Yuldo Classic Set for the Musa, Durandal Outfit Set for the Striker, and Jade Navalera Outfit Set for the Lon. Uh, Striker and Lons are 2200 pearls, Musa, Witch, and Sorks are 2900. So here is the Lars Arcean Set. This is the classic one. So we have Lars Arcean B, A, and B, and then I'm assuming this is the classic set that we're, that's in the um, bundle up top. Um, and so, yeah, 2,900 pearls. There's the male version. I guess they don't have the picture of fem. Wait. Yeah, I guess they don't have the female picture up, um, for this. So, Lar Arcean underwear for Valk, Konoichi, Mystic, and then Lar Arcean eye patch for Tamer, Valk, Konoichi, and Mystic. I'm gonna guess, actually, that the Lar Arcean classic set, that's what we already had for all the characters. It just wasn't out for Musa Ninja, Mystic Striker, uh, Tamer, Valk, Konoichi. I'm just going to assume it wasn't out for those classes yet. I bought Lars Arcean a long time ago on my Sork, so I really haven't looked at the set since then. I'm just going to guess it was never out for those characters. Finally, we have the new stuff for the PlayStation. We have the Brown Cream Puppy, uh, which is just kind of like the Corgi. It's just a different dog. Um, it has the same skill and talent. Uh, limited class outfit sets. Uh, they got the Karsanov Classic set for the Warrior. They got the Lars Arcean for the Mystic, Tamer, and Konoichi. Uh, they got the Lars Arcean Underwear for Valkyrie, Konoichi, Mystic, Lars Arcean Eye Patch. And then they got the Arneas Wagon set for 2000 on PlayStation. So that's going to do it, guys, for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. Um, not a whole lot of new stuff, but I definitely didn't want to skip another week for you guys. Obviously, as always, I'll try to remember to put the link in the description for the Black Desert News site. If not, if you just type in Black Desert Console News, should get you to this page, and then news is up at the top that you can click on if it takes you to the home page. Um, but yeah, that's going to do it. I will catch you guys in a day, probably on Friday, with the PSO2. I think I have an exploration video for you guys, so we'll do that on Friday, and then hopefully we'll have another Black Desert video on Saturday. Probably be back Konoichi on PlayStation. So, hope you all enjoyed. I'll stop taking any more of your time. Sorry about the beginning of the video, just some stuff I wanted to cover with you guys, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Cause when it's all over, the love that you give